Here's the final layout of this chiller system. Here we have the compressor, reversing valve, expansion valve, evaporator, condenser, suction line accumulator, filter dryer. There is a sight glass, not, not visible here. Two stage. This is the more official height. We just didn't raise this for right now. All right, here is our current configuration. And take a quick look and then Sean will explain what we've got going on here. This is mostly Sean's fault. <laughs> that looks all purdy like this. So, explain to me, Sean, what do we have here? All right, we finally got our drain pan back from the fabricators. It's actually a pan that goes inside of a drain pan. So, right now I just want to put locations of the components where I think they'd be sufficient in that and then very properly look and work. All right, so the condensers now, I put up on blocks of woods so I can get them level so I can get the height in that so I can go ahead and get my mount so I can cut them to have this fit. <clears throat> this morning I went ahead and made up my return and supply manifold line sets that are going to be joined together with copper. So, it's, and then the inlet side is going to, and the return side is going to be on this side. All right, so when I had the, <clears throat> the evaporator and that we have is when I had, had the it modified so I can go ahead and have bowling mounts where it's easier to gain to. And then we're gonna go ahead and still put the the oil separator. Nope, nope, nope. Suction line. Suction line, I'm sorry, suction line <laughs> you know, accumulator on inside of here. This will be raised up to match that one. And then the compressors are gonna pretty much live where they're at now. So and all in all it's coming along pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick up some mounts for the condensers so I can get rid of the wood. And I can continue on with some of the, the refrigerant pump and to see what the chill water is pretty much, you know, accomplished besides being embraced. Yep, we got um, final measurements to make just in case. Yep, we got to make sure these are in the same area, same spot. Yeah, and these I have to be measured to make sure, you know, get them exactly this measurement the same. And see how it sp splits right here? So it's actually two units married together. So we've got to get everything all evened out. See how this thing right here is uh, way up here on all this wood. Once he establishes the brackets for those, we'll uh, duplicate it on this one here. Now here we have the reversing valve and other associated. Here's our discharge pressure port. Here's our suction pressure port. Got some roto locks to, this is suction, discharge. This is for the TXV to go into the expansion valve. TXV to go into the evaporator and what else do we have on here well we'll show you um, when we get further down the road a ah, quick update got the blocks cut measured thing sits quite nicely these are pretty much as horizontal as they're gonna be for each. they are made a little differently you can see this one they're very, very close. So these things get to screwed to here. I'm gonna slot, we'll slot this out and put metal straps to hold that down. Ain't going nowhere. Hello, welcome back, Matthews Marine. Where we're doing a 10 ton chiller system. We have all the water circuits now for the chill water set up, raised, leak checked. Went ahead and brazed all of our components in. <clears throat> Had it pressurized overnight with nitrogen to make sure none of the fittings in there are leaking. Everything checked out very well. So I'll go over a few things that we have that I need to finish up. One's going to be in the water circuit for the seawater. I have parts coming in for here so I can make a PVC manifold. And that'll be tomorrow. I've got. <clears throat> 
sensor wells to put here for the freeze step. That's what the blue tape mark is. And one here and one there. That'll hold the freeze step. All right, so right now, everything's, all the components are in place and it's time for a tear down and insulate. As you can see, our flat plates are what these heat exchangers are called. Right here, are gonna be insulated. It's gonna be nicely done on both all, all sides and that so it, the moisture and that will not, you know, drip and get throughout the vessel. All six sides. All right? six sides. So it'll be a nice wrap around here and here, and then you can see my holes cut out already. They go onto the front side and go on there. So that's my next step is to go ahead and remove that chilled water circuit. Undo all my unions. I'll go ahead and I'll braze in my well with a little quarter inch sensor, and that'll be done. This will all be insulated, and then and the evaps gonna start getting insulated as well. The dryers are set up. I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see, I made little stove clamps that hold it. I just got drill mount them in. So, for the most part, all the refrigerant lines and the fresh water lines are established. So now it's time to take it apart, clean it up, and then we're gonna go ahead and take it to paint. The base is gonna get powder coated white, and also the evaporator frames are getting powder coated white. The rest of the system is gonna go ahead and get painted black, except for the suction side, which gets cold, which will be insulated. And then when we get to that point, we'll show you how it looks like when we're finished. All right, thank you. All right, we're back here at Matthews Marine, air conditioning refrigeration. This is a 10 ton chiller that we send all the pieces out to get painted and insulate and all the components. Now we put it back, assembled it back together and it's ready to go to the customer. We have all the insulation ready to go for them. All the compressors, the waters, and it came out very nice. So they're five ton each, which gives us our 10 ton. And three phase, 400 volt, 50 hertz. And that's what she looks like when it's all put back together and painted nicely. All right, well thank you. I'm showing everybody here at Matthews Marine. Have a great day.